Hello there, this is John V, Software Evangelist at Jscape. Let's say you have an FTP or FTPS server and you want to transfer files uploaded to it to an AWS S3 bucket. You can do that with just a few clicks if your FTPS service is running on Jscape MFT server. Let me show you how it's done. What I have here is an instance of Jscape MFT server running an FTPS service on a host with an IP address of 172.31.12.181. I also have an FTPS client configured to connect to that FTPS service. Lastly, I have an Amazon S3 bucket named Jscape John with a folder in it named Folder1. Our objective is that when a file is uploaded from that FTP client to the FTP service on Jscape MFT server, that file should not be stored on the FTP server, but rather it will be sent directly to that Amazon S3 bucket folder. Let me now show you how to do that on Jscape MFT server. Note that Jscape MFT server is platform independent, so it doesn't matter if you have it running on Windows, Linux, Solaris, Mac OS, Unix, AIX, or just about any operating system out there that has a JVM. To start, let's go to the network storage module and click the add button. Next, expand the protocol dropdown list and select Amazon S3 and then click OK. Enter pertinent details for that network storage object. So give it a name, enter the access key of your S3 bucket, enter that access key's corresponding secret key, select the region that S3 bucket belongs to, for example, US East Ohio. Make sure you have the right region, otherwise you'll encounter some connection issues along the way. And then lastly, you can enter the S3 folders path. For example, Jscape John slash folder one, where if you recall, Jscape John is the bucket name and folder one is a folder under that bucket. Once everything's set, click the test server button to test the connection. And if all goes well, click OK to proceed. You should then see your newly created network storage object in the network storage tab. Now that you have that network storage object, the next step is to map it to an existing user account's virtual path. You can also map it to a group's virtual path, but let's just map it to a user's virtual path for now. The purpose of mapping the S3 network storage to a user's virtual path is so that when that user logs in to the FTP service, he or she would see the network storage object as a regular folder in his or her account. To map, just go to the users module, select the desired user account, and click edit. Next, go to the paths tab and click add to add a new virtual path. Enter the desired path for this virtual path. This will appear as a folder in this user accounts virtual file system. So for example, if you enter forward slash an S3 bucket folder, that folder will be added under this user's virtual root directory. After that, expand the network storage dropdown list and select the Amazon S3 network storage object you created earlier to map the virtual path to the S3 network storage object. Click OK until you're back at the main screen. That's all there is to it. So now moving forward, every time this user logs in to that remote FTP service, he or she will see that virtual path that maps to S3 just like any other folder and be able to upload files to it. But unbeknownst to that user, those uploaded files are not stored on that FTP server, but rather they're actually stored in an Amazon S3 bucket folder. That's it. Now you know how to configure Jscape MFT server so that files uploaded to the FTPS service are stored to an Amazon S3 bucket.